Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In today's video, I'm gonna be capturing my favorite amp of all time, which is my Matchless Independence 35 inside of IK Multimedia's Tonex. Tonex came out, I think a couple of months ago. This software basically does the same thing as a Kemper. And if you don't know what a Kemper does, it's a profiler. Basically what it does, it takes a snapshot of how your amplifier sounds at any one given time. And then you can store that with IK Multimedia Tonex inside your computer and basically play back that sound whenever you want without having to switch your amp on. So not only is it a great way of playing through tons and tons of boutique amplifiers, it's also a great way to have like a recording situation in your studio. So say that I'm putting down a guitar part on a track and I've got this particular setting on my amp, I can capture that setting and then overdub using that setting at a future date. It's a really useful thing to have, especially in the studio. So as I said, what I'm doing today is capturing my Matchless Independence 35 amplifier. But the Matchless Independence 35 for me is that sort of classic blend between so like an AC30 and a Marshall. You can get some quite high gain sounds out of it, but you can get some really nice, chimey, clean, on the verge of breakup sort of sounds. So I've loaded up the Tonex software on my computer and I've got it in front of me now. So let's switch over to my screen. Now I'm playing a guitar into my amplifier, so we're gonna push guitar. Now we've got all these different choices, so we can either just do amp and cab, complex rig, stomp amp, and stomp and amp. Now I'm using a complex rig because I'm going into a boost pedal that's going into the front of my matches amplifier. So let's click on next. Now here's all my routing. My amplifier is going into my two notes torpedo studio. So I'm using microphone one and two. So I'm not actually using any physical microphones on this. My Amplifier is going into a load box attenuator, which is then acting as my microphones. And if I'm honest, this is the way that I record. I way prefer it to micing up uh, an amp. I personally think it sounds better. Uh, let me go next. So now we have to check our input level. So that's the input that's coming from my guitar into my interface. Now we need to make sure that the interface isn't gonna clip. <laughs> so there's the awful sound of a guitar DI'd straight into an interface. As I'm strumming harder, it's going into the yellow. I'm guessing that's right. We don't want it to clip. Let's click next. So next I need to check the send level. So this is the amount of level going from my interface into my amplifier. Now I'm going through a reamp box with this. And the reamp box is one of those really useful things you have in a studio, which I'm not gonna to get too technical, but you can take a line level straight out of your interface and it will convert it back into instrument level, which is the right level you need to go into your interface. So with the reamp box, I can change the amount of gain going into the front of my amp, which is the level coming from my guitar, effectively going straight into the amp. Let's click on next. Next, we have to check the return levels. Now, these are the levels that are coming from your microphones back into your interface, which are then gonna be captured by the Tonex software. Now, I'm not using any microphones for this. I'm using a, uh, a Two Notes Torpedo Studio for this. Personally, that's what I use in the studio. I find I can get a much better sound through this than I can by actually micing up an amplifier. And it really is, for me, my ideal guitar sound. Click next. So here's where we actually do the capture. So I'm gonna push capture. Now here is where Tonex sends a bunch of tones into your amplifier to capture what your amplifier sounds like. Now I'm guessing this is gonna take quite a bit of time. So let's stop the video until it finishes the capture process. It's still going. It's taken about five minutes so far. And it's just about to finish. There we go. Okay, so we've finished the capture. Basically what it's done is played a bunch of tones and guitar parts into my amplifier and it's captured the sound of the amplifier. 
click next. So it says select the accuracy level before proceeding with model training. Greater accuracy will require longer computation times. Good word. Uh, so fast, we've got good results with clean and overdriven tones suggest for older computers. Default, optimal results with clean and overdriven tones, medium length training time. And advanced, best for high gain and fuzz style tones, maximum accuracy and longer training times. Now it's not a high gain tone, it's a lightly sort of driven tone. So let's choose default. And it's saying click the start button to begin the AI training. During the AI training process, you can freely explore the tone models from the player tab. Okay. So now it's gonna do all the number crunching so we can actually play back that tone inside the Tonex software. Now, by the looks of things, this is gonna take quite a bit of time. So I'm gonna go off and make a cup of coffee. I'm gonna stop this video and we're gonna come back once it's finished processing the tone. Okay, so that took about 25 minutes, I guess, which is a hell of a lot longer than the Kemper takes to go through all of its processing. So let's hear how it sounds. So we're on the screen at the moment, push next. So we come to this tone model review. Here's the tone model. So this is the captured amplifier. So that sounds exactly like my matches sounds, but it's the capture, but let's compare it against a real amp by pushing this button here. Back to the capture. That's done an amazing job of capturing the amp. That sounds exactly how the amp sounds. So we know it sounds good, let's push next. We can choose the skin, let's just choose this one. So now we go to the player and we've got the amp. That sounds awesome. That sounds exactly like my Matches Independence. Put a bit of reverb on. I'm really interested to see how it takes pedals. So I plugged my exotic effects BB preamp in. It sounds like this. That sounds great. That sounds absolutely fantastic. Let's turn that pedal off. Now, I should explain that when you capture an amp, you're not gonna get the same EQ controls that you get on your amplifier. So on the real amplifier, we've got a cut control and there's a couple of different sort of EQ options. Now you're not gonna get those exact EQs and even those exact EQ shapes. But let's have a look to see how the EQ works on the actual plugin. Well, it works a damn sight better than a Kemper does. At least it still feels natural, that's great. Let's hear the mid. The mid isn't quite as good. But... And let's see what happens when we bring back the gain. That is extremely impressive. Now, what I'm gonna do is to post this amp model, or this amp capture, up on the, the Tonex exchange, whatever it's called, so you guys can find it. The name of it is called the Matchless Independence 35 TSR, the Studio Rats TSR. 
um, download it, enjoy it, and let me know what you think. Anyway, really hope you guys got something out of this. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.